The black budget, the secret budget of the NSA, the National Spying Agency, I'm sorry, National Security Agency, has been leaked thanks to Edward Snowden, the now infamous former NSA contractor who thankfully leaked the information about PRISM, just confirming what we've known for years, but at least giving some concrete evidence and some details to the NSA, Big Brother Orwellian spying programs. So now we know that the black budget just for this year, 2013 fiscal year, is $52.6 billion. That's billion with a B. Now, I'm not a big math person, but let's find out how much money this is exactly. No, not 50 million. 50 billion dollars divided by 365 days in a year is... A hundred and thirty six million dollars a day the NSA is using to spy on people. You know, that Bluffdale, Utah base is very expensive. Just imagine what the electric bill is over there. Uh, not to mention their 100,000, 107,000 employees that they use that make up the intelligence community through their 16 different spying agencies. Yeah, 16 different agencies. What are those 16 different agencies? Well, right here we have on the uh, official director of the nationalintelligence.gov website, we have the members of the IC intelligence community, Air Force Intelligence, Army Intelligence, the CIA, the Coast Guard Intelligence, Defense Intelligence Agency, Department of Energy. Yeah, you, oh, you're surprised that the Department of Energy is listed on the same list as the CIA and the FBI. and Well, it's because they're spying on people to make sure if your electric bill is a little bit too high, then they're going to turn your information over to the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration. They're going to take a little closer look to see maybe, oh, you're growing a closet full of two marijuana plants? Department of Energy can determine how much electricity you're using for the size of your house and if it's more electricity than what a big screen TV and a fish tank uses, your house is going to get flagged. Oh, Marine Corps Intelligence, FBI, DEA, Department of Treasury, of course, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the NSA, Naval Intelligence, just your friends over there at, the, at your federal family, just making sure that you're keeping everybody safe. Oh, I'm sorry, it was just revealed that the NSA agents were spying on their lovers. That's right. The NSA people who are in charge of PRISM, the Big Brother Orwellian system where they can just, you know, with a few clicks of a keyboard, can see exactly what you're doing in real time or what you've done, where you've been, every text message you've sent, listen to every voicemail, email, uh, which websites you went to, all the posts, everything. Uh, yeah, they, they were these, these nerds, these just absolute losers. Just imagine what kind of computer geek power trippers are working over there at the NSA. Uh, they were caught spying on the uh, people that they allegedly dated. It's incredible that they could even date anybody. But uh, apparently some of those people actually had been able to date people. And so they spied on them um, with their big brother technology. Probably trying to find out why they dumped them. Probably trying to find out why none of these women were returning their phone calls. You know, because they're a bunch of losers. So, oh, you didn't know that the NSA... Yeah, they were also caught spying on the United Nations. Yeah, got to keep up the tabs with everybody's doing over there. You know, it's terrorists working in the United Nations. Well, yeah, but that's not why they were doing it. You know, just they were obtained... Documents obtained by Edward Snowden show that the NSA spied on the UN and the European Union. You know... This sort of system is also used for industrial espionage as well. You know, if there's a company that's making some products that's not going along with the system's plan, they're just going to wiretap the CEOs and the executives, the managers, the boards of, board of directors over at those companies. They're going to find out what they're planning, what they're doing. They're going to make them go along. Or they'll just steal technology from a foreign country and then just give it to one of their buddies over here in America. Oh, they can get some, you know, insider stock tips, too. They want to find out what stocks to buy. They can just go and tap, you know, Tim Cook over there at Apple. Just tap his cell phone, uh, you know, just listen into their meetings, tap into the teleconferences that they're having, and, you know, get some good insider stock tips over there, too. That's what the NSA is good for. It's good for 
good for some good stock tips. So thank you, Edward Snowden, at least, for letting us know this other really interesting piece of data. Uh, we've already known, it's common sense, that the black budget has been enormous. But now we have an exact figure, $52 billion, $100 million a day, $100 million today, $100 million tomorrow. Oh, $200 million, $300 million, $400 million, yeah, $700 million in a week. That's great. It's a good good way to spend our tax dollars. I'm glad I'm paying my income tax so that it can be going to these criminals for, you know, spying on their, spying on the women who dumped them. So, just some more interesting news about the NSA spying revelations. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out the previous videos, the playlists. Stay tuned for the Man on the Street Mondays if you're new to my work. Go and check the playlist on youtube.com slash markdice and you'll see the Man on the Street videos where I just venture out and talk to your average American to find out that their brain has been put in a mainstream media blender. They have been infected with zombieism. The zombie plague is spreading rapidly here in California. I'm sure other parts of the country as well. So, uh, subscribe to my backup channel too, youtube.com slash the resistance, T H E resistance, youtube.com slash the resistance. I might start posting more videos over there as well. So, that's kind of a secondary channel, an older primary channel, some other videos on that channel too. So, thanks for watching again. Stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.